Good morning, or should I say, good evening, sweetheart, and how sweet you are. <laughs> well, it's not quite time to come out yet, and I don't want to, let's say, be too eager. Last night was amazing, but I think tonight will be even better. Do you remember what happened? No. That's okay. It, it can be a blur sometimes. My dear sweet love. You have nothing to fear anymore. Last night, you came to me, and you asked me to make you like me, and I obliged you. I didn't want to at first. There's so much to feel and discover when you're mortal. But the way you asked me, the way you presented yourself, the polite way that you asked me, please, Oh, what can I say? After a couple of years, I'm still really, really corny. <laughs> no, no, don't open the lid yet. It's, it's not quite past dusk yet. Safe enough for me to come out, but not you. You'll need a couple of years on you before it's perfectly safe. For now, if you did choose to not listen to me, and slipped out of my coffin, well, you'd be horribly ill, and that is not the way to start your first full night as a vampire. No, no, my love. <laughs> We're going to wait a few minutes, and then I want you to see the first moon rise with your new eyes. You are so perfectly beautiful. I could spend the whole evening in here if I wanted to. Just getting to be close to you like this. I know I could spend every waking moment with you. That's not the point. <laughs> the point is that I get to appreciate you forever. And I want to. But I also know that you're going to get thirsty. <laughs> well, no. You're not going to have to just ingest blood. At first, maybe for a year or so, you, your body won't handle it. It'll reject it immediately. You won't even be able to keep it in your mouth. Yeah. Um, I was trying to tell you that while you were... Um, <laughs> asking me... It's It's okay. It doesn't take long. And besides, you haven't had blood yet. That first year is going to be a blur of ecstasy, of thrill. 
Tonight I'm going to show you the moon. And I'm going to show you the stars. And we're going to learn the first rules of her hunt. Oh yes. It's going to be second nature to you. You're going to be so perfect. And I'll be right there, just in case it isn't. What's it like? Well, it's not like your trip to the grocery store, I can tell you that. <laughs> now, mind you, I would love for it to be as simple as an exchange of commerce, but you just don't get the same feeling as you do when you're stalking and chasing, luring and seducing. There's a certain thrill that's just not shared by tossing down some currency in front of some fool behind a register. There are a few rules. One. One human per night at first. You live long enough to need more than one, and you're never going to need my help anymore. Two. Never someone of value. Always seek out the dregs, the vile scum. You're doing the world a favor, and, well, evil tastes better. Next. Never finish an evening without doing good for someone. Well, call me an old fool, but I still believe in karma. And besides, if the locals catch wind that they have a dark guardian angel, emphasis on angel, they might be more inclined to look the other way when pieces of scum are go missing. The rest I can teach you when we're out there, but I'd love to spend a few more minutes with you. <laughs> a long time. How, um, how many, uh, people have I sired? Um, well, apart from you, there was one other. They were like you, and they decided that this was not for them. No, no, there was no horrible breakup or fight. There was nothing. Just a letter. A long, long time ago. A very, very long time ago. Long enough for me to notice the time. Which is something that you're going to have to get used to as well. Don't worry, it will come naturally. But time progresses very differently for us. It's just that when you live, when you truly live, then small moments are big, bright spots. And all the little moments in between them, they travel past in a blur and and I I have so 
many bright spots in the short span of time that I've been with you that the rest seem to just meld together. Well, okay, I'm sorry. I told you I'm corny. And you're stuck with me for a while at least. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> you can make fun of me as much as you like. It didn't change when you first met me. It's not going to change now. Vampires are not so good at change. At least, in my case, it just happens to be that I like to slip into being some melodramatic goofball. Right? <laughs> All right. The sun is down. And the moon is starting to rise for you. Let's open this door and start our new lives together, shall we? <laughs> <laughs>